is John Welch, ex-British champion in the car, which is a mirror image of that driven by European champion Martin Schenker. The Gartrack X-Track four-wheel drive, 1800cc, turbocharged, 560 horsepower Ford Escort. And does it go? Front row of the grid, on the left there, Paul Bailey on, in the Escort. Then number 227 in the middle is Ross Browning in another Escort. Then probably the sensation of British Rally Cross during 1985 as a newcomer, number 66, Mark Rennison, who incidentally won the celebrities race here at the, British, at the European Grand Prix meeting at Brands Hatch on tarmac that was but now look at this the rear of john welch's four-wheel drive car and that's going to disappear very rapidly indeed into the lead goes only arneson then it's Ralph nilsson then it's lord strom and welch is through up into fifth position as he goes round the right hander of paddock turn nilsson lord strom and now he's up into fourth position. John Welch is up into fourth position behind Nordstrom's people. Nilsson is in second place. Only Arneson, the Swedish driver of the four-wheel drive Audi Quattro, the blue and white car, is in the lead. Now watch Welch. He's coming up to take second position or third and worst. And he's done it. John Welch has got ahead of Nilsson. British driver, ex-British champion John Welch, if he can get past Nordstrom's Beetle on the knife edge, he might be able to do something about early Arneson. But meantime, the four-ringed Audi Quattro is building up the lead because Welch is being held up by Nordstrom's Beetle, four-wheel drive Beetle. Arneson leads, Nordstrom second, Welch is in third place, Nilsson, the Swedish driver in the Porsche, is in fourth place, so there are four different things and types of car in the first four places. One lap completed, two and a half lap race. Now can Welch do anything about number 20? Michael Nordstrom, the Swedish driver, first time at Brands Hatch this is for Nordstrom. So he's driving jolly well because Welch knows his circuit perfectly. Welch going for it now as he drops down to the S's. But, it, but Nordstrom's got the inside on the left-hander. He's holding the line. He's just clipping the tyres as he goes through on the right. It's four-wheel drive. Welch has got the line here. But Nordstrom now. Welch is going to go through on the inside as they go up into Druids. And he's got enough of the car through. He just cuts Nordstrom's car, just touches Welch's. And he's retaken that second position, has Nordstrom. Beautiful bit of driving. Meantime, Arneson is across the knife edge. There is the leader. And look at this. This is Welch and Nordstrom going for second. And Welch has lost it. He's going to spin off. He's caught it. Fantastic. But that gives Nilsson the opportunity to move up a bit. So it's still Arneson leading. Nordstrom second. John Welch in third place. Nilsson in fourth place. Audi Quattro leads. Porsche second. Ford Escort in third position. Porsche in fourth place. And Welch has blown it. Look at the flames at the, underneath the car, and the whole car now is smoking as John Welch's turbo looks as though it's set fire to some oil or some fiberglass. He's going off the circuit, he's opening the door. The atmosphere in there will be absolutely appalling, and I'm very much afraid that John Welch's afternoon of rally cross racing is over. But I hope that is not the case and he'll be able to fix it. But Ole Arneson now is on his way. The Swedish driver in the Quattro, the man who won in 1983, is going to score maximum points in this race with Michael Nordstrom in the VW Beetle four-wheel drive, very special car, in second position. There's the chequered flag. There is the winner of this race in this second heat with Nordstrom in second position and Rolf Nilsson in third place and very unhappily it looks as though John Welch is out of the meeting. John Welch in the red overalls with his helmet on the car. Oh, man, managing to raise a smile. Well done, John. I wouldn't have thought it was very much to be happy about. I must say, looking at Welch, he as far as one can tell, just looking at a television screen, he doesn't look overly miserable. Maybe it's yeah. some... 
John Welch's car is being worked on methodically, but slightly frantically. It is a turbo problem. I've just heard that what happened was that a main oil pipe to the turbo had broken, and they're working to replace it. That doesn't sound like too much of a job.